I'm here to tell you about swag bucks. What? I'm here to tell you about swag bucks, Scott. Okay. Swagbucks is this thing where you take surveys online and I need to tell you about it in a creative and interesting way. You take surveys and then you get cash back and, and you do all kinds of online things. It's really cool. <laughs> and I also need to tell you, Scott. What? Is it linked in your description below? It is. Sign up, you get five dollars? Yes, and also that I have also tried swag bucks and it's pretty darn great. Oh. So I want to tell you, Scott, we've made a ton of money. And now I'm taking you to Moscow. I'm gonna take you there. And we're gonna go drink vodka. And it's gonna be great with all our swag bucks money. And also, Scott, the last thing I need to say. What? Thank you for sponsoring this video, swag bucks? <laughs> you read the brief. <laughs> Well done. I did. We'd like to thank Wyatt Nash for providing the track. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Putting him to work. You know, you gotta teach him the, the value of a dollar. Yeah. Maybe you should sign him up for swag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I'm in love with you, Brandon. <laughs> the man is absolutely hilarious, and this is one of the better stories I get to tell here on this channel. Not only because I'm a fan, but I can relate to his hustle. Also, he has a bit of a tendency to blow it up while on vacation. What's going on, guys? It's Boy Mike Luke Craig. He's acting in the life of Peter Jason Nash. Here for you on Before They're Famous. And we try. Jason Nash was born on May 23rd, 1973, in Boston, Massachusetts. Now, his mother of the rain, she regularly appears in his videos. Oh, she and she has an older sister. Now, from the research we've done on Jason, the details of his early years are a little far and few between. <laughs> now, I do have a scheduled trip to LA where I'm going to be interviewing a bunch of stars. So maybe me and him can sit down and do a little one on one. He really likes you. All these details. He really relates Probably to you. Too weird. Well, Jason, he's really into the weird stuff. Jason established himself <laughs> as a jack of all trades. Okay, so this is actually my favorite. And Jason's like, I had my he's told now he's told me this like a dozen times. I had my wisdom feet on that picture. Mm -hmm. I know this. I'm not saying like I thought you were that fat and disgusting. Like, and it doesn't help though that you're eating like whipped cream or something. Oh, uh, that was always just picking out my entire life. Oh, babe, but you know yeah. this guy right here. Like, I wish that was like you just fat because I feel like that's the kind of guy that I like relate to. Poor no, thing. we're we're skin we're being skinny. Oh yeah, we're skinny legends now. But yeah, we haven't been eating. Look how cute. I just oh, I just want to like hug him. Now Jason eventually he found himself in New York City Selfie. where he got a job at the NBC building and it was there he became an assistant to Norm Macdonald on Saturday Night Live oh, where he would it. work directly underneath him photocopying jokes for the show's weekend update segment. Norm soon noticed that Jason, he had something special. <laughs> he was like, you're really funny. You should just get up on stage. And I was like, oh, you really think What's so? That from? So he really inspired me to get up on stage in the beginning. After some inspiring words that. from the comedy legend, in Jason quotes. began to perform for himself. Now seeking out stage time in New York City stand-up circuit, the entertainer began developing his own one-man shows. Then in 2001, Jason made the move to Los Angeles where he got to work on the VH1 show, Random Play. It just Tell me that we need eggs and oh. make me climb up the ladder here. It was funny once. Okay, Jen. Now, if you know anything about pitching and your own ideas what in Hollywood, that was like a sketch show I did. It was like all like music based sketches. I don't even get that sketch though. You got off the ladder and she like jump? Because she, she, Yoko would like write stuff on the walls. The joke was that she was writing like, the grocery list on the wall, so he would have to go up and be like, oh, <laughs> right, I need eggs. And that, why that show didn't last, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> No easy venture. Jason, however, he seemed to have a bit of luck when he hit the town with his show titled The Shaman. In 2006, oh he went to MTV and he pitched the premise for his web series that focused on a wannabe guru moving out to LA to make a living healing people. Now, to help him get the show off the ground, he enlisted the help of his former sketch comedy comrades. I'm talking about Mike Bleeden <laughs> and Matt Price. <laughs> Who, along with Jason, you know them? will be appropriate. Do I know them? Sketch yeah, they're, my, they're like Price my best Nash. friends, and Aww. we were like in a comedy group together. How do they find pictures? I don't even know who they are. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta show that to Price. <laughs> sketch troupe known as Price, Nash, and Bleeden. It's Blyden. I'm saying it's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying Follow my vision quest. Oh. I must search for the one who will be my shaman partner. Jason you shot the series there. with the intention of making a lasting impression. Uh, I always had a belly. No, you, you were really thin there. Your budget, face was fatter than that. your belly there. Yeah. Produced on a low budget, he stated in an interview with LA Weekly, I was really naive. I thought I'll make this web show and it'll be so great that they'll be a TV show. It doesn't work like that. You still have to pitch the TV show and people in the TV business want to have a haunting quote. <laughs> now living in LA, Jason's career as a comedian. <laughs> who is this? Uh, what? What? Who is that? Why is she in this? I don't know. We did a video with her. That was she was that mom that we met at the tour, um, flying back, and then they oh. came to the tour. She made your life story. I guess I don't know. You know the last whole part's gonna be about you. The only reason like they. Did Why are they showing her? She's not even a YouTuber. Like I get Tana, but like what? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's, listen they, let's see what they have to say. Now living in LA, Jason's <laughs> career as a comedian was starting to come into fruition. He also appeared on Last Comic Standing, where he became a semi-finalist. He continued to work on his one-man shows. His next project was titled In the Land of Tall Buildings and Red Fire Engines. <laughs> where are they getting this? Well, he started coming from a more personal place. This one featured Jason telling various anecdotes from his life, and soon, well, he was attracting the attention of execs at Atom.com. Impressed by his humor and creative ability, they asked him to develop. <laughs> What's Atom? It's like a Weibo. <laughs> He's just trouble pronouncing words. It's Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adam.com. 
but it's okay. Hey, Tom. <laughs> hey, Tom. It sounds much cooler than he said it. <laughs> David Dorbick and <laughs> Wait, what's this guy's name? Michael McCrudden. Michael, I love this. Thank you so much for doing this. This is really, really nice. And so thank you. Yeah, like I'm shocked that they did it. Like I was shocked they did it on me. I was shocked me. too, yeah. That's crazy. They did like, that's a lot of research. Like this stuff, I've never heard you even talk about. Some of these things, I like, I, I was like, what? The thing is, he's gotten everything right too. Really? It's weird, yeah. Seizing the opportunity, Jason named this series Jason Nash is Married. The show documented the fictional day-to-day -day life of Jason as he lived with his wife, played by actress Busy Phillips from Freaks and Geeks. Not long after that, well, GQ, they decided to expand their brand on YouTube, and they recruited Jason to host a show called How to Be a Man. Now, this was a mock series where the comedian would host fake interviews with a variety of reluctant celebrities, most notably an episode where he showed up at Jim Gaffigan's house. Jim Gaffigan, take a look. Series, <laughs> bad with the names. <laughs> Joe G. Jim Gaffigan oh. in the house. Huh. Comedic uh, legend. Uh, I'm friends with him. They're not Jason that old. decided to use this new thing called Vine. <laughs> that was just for him. Hey, I'm hungry. You want to go get Taco, Taco Bell? Jinx, Jinx you owe me a kiss on the lips. You're not going anywhere, Brandy. Yeah. Trick, trick or treat. I've got a trick. We'd prefer a treat. Well, then get the fuck off. <laughs> All of Jason's hard work like and comedy were quickly paying off, and he became an overnight celebrity via Vine. With a series of fun videos made with his friends, his platform would eventually gain him close to 1.3 million subscribers, which he has at the time of recording, <laughs> and he has an additional <laughs> YouTube channel, which he's made with his family, and this one, well, it's family friendly. On top of all this, he's also ventured into the podcast world with views, which ended up climbing to number three on iTunes podcast charts, and earned him and David Dobrik in a war. I think it was a streaming. We just recorded this podcast on like Tuesday morning. Sure. Like, nice and fresh. Dude, shorty. at the kitchen, as R. Kelly would say. Guys, let's make things clear right now. We have officially, we are best month of views. In 2007, Jason began dating fellow oh. YouTube star Trisha yeah, Paytas, is. and the two went on a few dates, but Jason reportedly did not have an interest in a relationship <laughs> to his yeah, oh schedule, as well as spending time with his son Wyatt and his daughter Charlie. Oh. Um, well, in 2018, the relationship was announced to be going a little hot and heavy <laughs> because Trisha's a babe. She's also been Aww. all over the entertainment industry, and I just feel like these two were soulmates. Aww. Now, there has been some recent drama between the two. Are they breaking up? Is it all over? I'll let uh, you tell me what you think. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> I like that this made your life story. Yeah. At the time of the recording, it looks like they've patched things up, mm -hmm. and uh, I got a feeling we're going to be seeing them together for a very long time. Honestly, it's not only me. The girls I date, they always pull this couple up, and they're like, they're soulmates. It's really cute. Also, why I made this video, because the Trisha one, it's, it's doing really well. As for the rest of the story, <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see, because this Aww. is before our fans. Oh, I like but him. Michael Crenn, we I love also him. He has a good delivery. Channel, the YouTube yeah. ones. They're almost impossible to make. That's why I hope to be doing more interviews when I go to LA in August. I'll see you guys in another video. My name is Michael Crowd. You already know that. Oh, Ooh, three away. Oh! I wonder how old he is because he kept making like old jokes. Hmm. I wonder. I was thought he was young. About dating him? You know you like those old guys. I don't know why everyone thinks you're so old. Like, I don't know why that's like the joke. You're like not old. I would get it if you were like 50 or something. But... I am 50. <laughs> no, you're not. Basically. You know? You, well, you started at like 40 or like 37 I'll be 50 soon. on Vine. And no, okay, if you're gonna be 50 soon, then I'm gonna be 35 soon. What am I gonna do, babe? What am I gonna do with my life? Oh, that's my life. That's, that's all I've accomplished. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Do you want to react to something else on you? No. Thanks to I'm tired. Thanks to Michael for for doing that. That was really cool. I really like him. That was the first time I've seen him. It was really good. It was. I mean, they do like serious research. It's, it was like, and they put it together really well. It's like watching each other's story. I still don't understand why that random girl is in your life story. He literally said nothing about her. It was just a picture he showed. It wasn't anything. It's a thumbnail. It wasn't even a picture. Let's have some water on. So excited about this. We're on watermelon diets. We're skinny. When I lose my 20 pounds, I'm going to get my belly button pierced. That is my goal. I used to have it pierced, but I'm not going to get it pierced right now because when I sit down, I have rolls. 